National Park is one of Ghana's first wildlife protected areas to be established in the 1950s in the Guinea Savannah Zone of Northern Ghana. The park is the country's largest wildlife protected area covering a total land area of 4,577 square kilometers. Facilities in the park include a motel, restaurants, public campsites, game viewing platforms, three hide, conference meeting room, convenience and craft shop, and a network of game viewing road for safari drivers. Moli National Park offers diverse and unique attractions ranging from spectacular wildlife, beautiful landscape, exciting natural processes, and memorable cultural and historical sites. Moli National Park is undoubtedly the only place in Ghana where the viewing of wildlife, especially elephants, antelopes and bird life among others in their natural habitats and at a close range can be guaranteed. It's a beautiful park. You get really close to all the elephants. The monkeys and baboons come right up to you. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Um, it's gorgeous. The, the ranger walk, the safari, is really reasonably priced and definitely beautiful and right up close to all of the animals. Yeah, it's a great place. I've thoroughly enjoyed my stay here. The viewing of game can be done on either foot safari along trails, drive safari along the various roads and tracks, or from viewing platform and three hard strategically located in the park. The commonness of the over 94 mammal species occurring in the park include the African elephants. Moli National Park holds the largest elephant population remaining in the country. There are more than 400 individual elephants in the park. Some of the park's elephants are not as aggressive as they are known to be elsewhere and as such, visitors to Moli view them at a very close range, accompanied by armed guards. Other mammals commonly cited by tourists are the cob, bushback, buffalo, hatha beast, waterbuck, and the magnificent rowing antelope, among others. The common primates include the patas, green monkeys, and the entertaining baboons. Follow the course of over 300 bird species. 33 reptile species, 9 amphibian species, and several butterflies. Moli is a very important site for both biodiversity, conservation, and wildlife viewing. Moli National Park, a lot of attractions to offer, not only wildlife you know, species, but attractions such as this. Moli is a breathtaking park located at about 100 kilometers and 120 kilometers to the northeast of the park headquarters are the spectacular Polzin and Paria Falls respectively. The Polzin Fall is found on a river of the same name. The vegetation around the falls is thick and evergreen gallery forest. The water cascades from a height of about 60 meters along the Konkori cliff into a pool surrounded by heavy rocks before meandering its way gently through the beautiful rock formation and then finally empties into a white volta outside the park.
The Paria Falls, on the other hand, collects into a large, beautiful pool, making it ideal for swimming. Long journey driving with a lot of adventure during the road, uh, passing almost uh, yeah, very difficult roads and uh, through the, the little rivers. We finally came to a spot, it was really, really nice. Cool water, beautiful, beautiful surroundings. The falls are surrounded by thick evergreen ravine forests, giving the area a cool and serene environment for camping and relaxation, especially during the dry and hot season. This dramatic waterfall is named after the Paria village. Rainbow appears over the falls. Today has been a, a very unique experience. Um, the trip here was arduous and very bumpy and but far too hot for Ubruni, but uh, making it here was unbelievable. So refreshing. It's, it's uh, one could describe it as God's country. This is my first time in Moli National Park. I've been very fortunate to experience this, and I will be taking back home to my friends a lot of excellent memories. Hiking is another interesting adventure in the park. The Gwangwele and Kwaria caves have archaeological and historical importance. Around the cave too, I can see a lot of animal footprints inside the other holes. And I know that some of these nocturnal animals might have been living there. And most tourists are interested in watching, seeing these animals, something like the hyenas, mm. the, the leopard mm. and the lions. But no, I don't see a lion footprint, but I can see hyena and then twitox and then leopard footprint inside. These and other caves dotted around the park were used during the tribal wars in the 18th century. The caves were hiding places for potential slaves who fled raids by the two notorious slave raiders, Samori and Babatu, who were based at the current site of the Samoli school complex at the park headquarters. The name Samoli is therefore derived from Samori to the notorious slave raider. The Morugu Cold Spring is certainly one of the finest attractions and a beautiful recreational site in the park. It's a sea page water from the ground to form a pool of clean water, especially at the fringes, and then flows out slowly to form a long and winding stem. The vegetation around the pool remains green and fresh all year round, thus serving as watering and grazing ground for a wide range of animal species, especially in the dry season when most water sources dry up. The site is therefore a perfect site for recreation and game viewing. Effectively managing the biodiversity in the park, development of ecotourism in fringe communities is key. 11 kilometers northeast of the park headquarters is Mognori Eco Village. The Eco Village offers tourists its unique traditional architecture, rich traditional dance. <laughs> Tourists can do a village tour and also climb the rooftop. For more adventure, 
Tourists can go on the popular canoe safari on the Moli River from Mognori into the park where bird life is rich. Moli National Park is currently among very few protected areas in Ghana that provide basic visitor user facility and services to enhance game viewing and recreation. The park has an extensive internal road and track network developed to facilitate management of the park and for drive safaris or game viewing, about 70 kilometers of the roads are in good conditions and are accessible all year round, while over 200 kilometers of other roads and tracks can only be accessed during the dry season. Moli is the only park that provides overnight accommodation facility for all class of worldwide tourists and other visitors in a protected area in Ghana. The motel serves continental and local dishes as well as soft and alcoholic beverages. Moli Motel is one of the very few hotels with a swimming pool in northern Ghana. It provides a serene atmosphere for relaxing, viewing wildlife from a platform overlooking two waterholes and spectacular sun setting. The park also offers tourists the option of spending the night in tents at public campsites. Adventurous tourists may also wish to spend the night in a tree hide with the added advantage of seeing nocturnal animals such as the leopard, lion or hyena. A number of game viewing platforms have been developed to facilitate the viewing of animals at close range. The park offers stories all the attractions including a magnificent information center comprising a 120-seat capacity hall, a serene atmosphere for workshops and conferences. The center also houses a craft and convenience shops, conservation room. We want people, tourists, to see what is in Moli National Park. All features that you are going to see here are within Moli National Park. Nothing is imported, nothing is taken from any park except Moli National Park. A notice stroke information board. For tourists who might wish to cover or discover more of Moli on drive safari but did not come in their own vehicles, private car rentals are available to offer their services at affordable price and good service within and outside the park. The park has trained and experienced tour guards who do not only inform and conduct tourists around the park, but ensure that the safety of tourists is guaranteed. The park headquarters is located 24 kilometers from Damango, the capital of the West Gunja district, and 146 kilometers southwest of Tamale, the northern regional capital. It is about 700 kilometers to the north of Accra, the national capital. Moli National Park is a, an, an essential part of Ghana's heritage and should be continued to be cherished by the Ghanaian people. It is a, a remarkable feat that people can look after nature in this way and I hope it continues to be so. Madasi. There is no doubt that tourism is a huge earner. It's the largest wildlife protected area in Ghana and the biggest tourist attraction in northern Ghana. Mule National Park is certainly an important site for nature conservation in Ghana and also a major pulling force for tourism development in northern Ghana.